Hello YouTube, this is JM Productions and today I'm going to be showing you a little tutorial on how to make the blob intro. So what first what you're going to do is going to want to change this number here to 200 which I had already done. Um, then you're going to want to go to here and in here you want to get the sphere and then you just want to copy and paste this or keep clicking it um, so you get three of them and then you're going to want to go into this one here I think it's six squares and one white square click that and then go into meatball which is one to the right and middle if you can't see okay then you're going to want to highlight all of this so you get absolutely everything except meatball and then you're going to want to drag everything inside that one so you it becomes like that so you can minimize it and then what you're gonna just want to do is um, make it like that and bring this one over here out the way and then well put them into your starting position how you would like to start it I just like to start it quite basic because you don't need to go like all master to be good at this so now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to get your camera actually yeah you're gonna want to get your camera yeah you do need your camera forgot for a minute there okay and then click this little black mark in here and then it makes that green line go away and then what you're gonna want to do is hit this sort of free fresh but refresh button on the red background and then it creates a red line in all around your screen so now what you're going to want to do is keyframe it as it is so just this is the still part and you'll see a little grey bit come underneath here so then you want to scroll it to about somewhere between 20 and 10 frames depending on how quickly you want it to move say if I would have put it at 10 that would have moved quite quickly 20 is a bit longer you know frames per second sort of judgement so now what you're going to want to do is move one at a time so, so move it all a little bit in closer together and then you'll notice some movements and then you want to keyframe up a little bit gonna want to move in again Now if you watch it backwards you'll see it begin to move. If I play that view, you'll see it all begin to move. And then you just slowly keep moving it about. Whoa ho accidental there. And then keyframe again make sure you're hitting this keyframe button even if there is um a bit underneath because you will miss out parts and you don't want to do that whoa be careful not to do that as well i keep doing that because i haven't used cinema 4d in a while um i just like to take this time out to say sorry for um not uploading many videos um i had a little problem with microphones I did have a few complaints on some of my comments about my mic being bad. Well, I've been out and bought a brand new microphone now, and it's pretty good. Um, tell me, if, uh, please like and comment if you notice the sound difference. Okay, so now um, what we've made, let's watch it back. Okay, that's pretty much what you made. So now you just want to add color. You know, if you don't know how to add color, uh, what you do is just double click this window here and it'll create these little balls. And then you go into it, um, you get up a massive color scheme. I think I'm going to go for a blob. Um, what color blob should we have? Green blob. Okay, green blob. Let's give it some reflection. And then um, you want to take the brightness of the reflection down to about halfway so it does keep the colour so now you want to add it to that so now we have our green blob 
um, now you can make, I guess, a sky, a floor. Actually, you don't really want to be making floor. Let's have a look because it'll cut over it. Okay, so now, um, if it ends at about 50 frames, you just want to go through the render settings. Um, so now you want to go output, preset, uh, film slash video. And then you want to scroll down until you find HDV slash HDTV 720 space 29.97. Okay, now you want to go from the frame from the from the frame zero to frame 150, or if you wanted to to make it look a bit more professional, you could do 155. Um, then you want to go save. You want to save the format. That's going to want to be is uh, depending on what you use, um, AVI or QuickTime, or if you've got any other video software. You want to not save it as a picture format because if you do that, it will create it in pictures, like loads and loads of pictures. So if I did this wrong, it'd be 150 pictures just in the place that you saved it, which does get quite annoying. And then anti, uh, anti, aliasing. Uh, I don't know what that says, so don't bring me up on that. But I'll keep that as geometry and filter. You want animation. Options. Um, you can add effects from here. This is just to make it look better, but it will increase the render in time. Um, so now, once you've done there in the settings and you're happy with it, and you've done everything you think you're just gonna wanna hit this button here okay you can either save or not save I don't think I really need to save it but I guess if you want to yucky yellowy color okay so I'm just gonna pause the video while this is rendering so I will be back in a minute and we're back um, I'm finished rendering I'm sorry if you can see this crash in the screen where this black square is taken out while I was rendering there was a little crash okay so now just what you want to do is just play it through uh, just to see if it looks alright um, you will have a bit of lag when you first play it through because all the frames haven't been like sort of I don't know it's weird they get cut out a little bit but when you do finish it so what you're going to want to do now is go file save as um, you're going to want to save it you're going to want to make sure you save it as type animation um, save it as then then just hit ok and then it browses for where you want to save it to I'm just going to save it to the desktop blob just blob blob one one ok so there you go and then you'll see down here it says save in 20 or whatever the number is there of how many other frames you have um, just why saving I just want to let everyone know if anyone that uploads videos feels like they don't get enough views and feels like they want someone to put it on their channel and get a few views to um, link to your channel I will happily if people send me videos or just send me um, links for like mega upload media upload um, if you do send in stuff with surveys I will just message back saying I'm not bothering it's a survey but if you put it on somewhere decent that I can get it from then I will happily upload it also if anyone has any questions or would like to know how to do anything that I upload or make anything just message me and I will make a tutorial so now we've done this once you're happy it's done and you think it's definitely saved because the bar has gone from down here you just close it and then you can minimize this and then it should be on your desktop somewhere um blob intro oh i got too many blob intros um i think i need to blob on one um might be here nope that's not it um blob one one okay I don't think it's saved properly so anyway you would have had your blob intro I don't know why I don't think I let it finish saving but you just let it finish saving it it'll work fine so 
I'd just like to say thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, rate, um, please send to a friend and let them see what they think. Um, and also uh, make sure you comment. Yeah, and you get it. Thanks for watching. This is JM Productions and goodbye.